Hey coaches, it's Sherry here. I just want to do a big, quick business tip Tuesday on expectation hangovers. I'm not sure if you know what that is, but it's kind of like that feeling where, you know, you go into something and you get really excited about it. And then when it happens, you're kind of like, eh, that wasn't what I expected. You have that down feeling, that feeling of just like, ugh, that didn't, pan out the way I wanted. Or you might have uh, created a challenge group that didn't didn't work out the way you thought. It went dead. Or um, you're excited about a program that comes out and you're like, oh my God, this is going to be the amazing po program for me. And then you get into it and you're like, yeah, this isn't my crush workout. But here's the thing. Instead of talking negatively and getting down and just like, oh, you know, that, that workout is just sucks. I'm never going to do it again. You've got to push forward. There are seven ways to get over expectation hangover. There's a, just a few of them. One is don't give up. So prime example, when you're in the middle of a program and you're like, I'm just not feeling this program and you're doing it with your challenge groups, do not quit. Do not quit. You keep going. If you're reading a personal development book that may not be your favorite book and you're like, um, it's slow reading, I'm having trouble getting through it, push ahead because you might find that one nugget. Keep your positive attitude. Work hard to get through that. Number two is set reasonable goals. I know in Beachbody that we talk about big, big goals, big thinking, and we do. But at the same time, you have to set reasonable goals monthly. You have to sit down and say, okay, this month, look at your month and say, this is obviously success club is a non-negotiable. But within that month, how many challenge groups are you going to have? Set reasonable goals. It, you may only be able to do one group this month. You know, set reasonable goals with your, your schedule. Sit down, work your time in your schedule and be reasonable for yourself so you're not going to get upset and overwhelmed. So if you can only do five hours this week, do five hours. Don't put 10 or 15 and then get all ticked off that, crap, I didn't complete what I set out to do. So set the reasonable goals. At the same time, number three is aim high. So aim high for those goals, but don't get attached. So for your long-term goals, if you want to be a star diamond, two star diamond, 15 star diamond, uh, all star legend, five success club, five all star legends, success club, 10 all star legend. But if you don't hit that and you've been working hard, don't get attached to those goals. You just keep going. It wasn't meant for right now for some reason. I don't know, you're supposed to learn something in your business maybe, and then you grow from it and you keep going. It's that don't quit. So don't get so attached that you're like, I'm just, I'm done. I'm done, I'm gonna quit. Whether it's this business or something in your life, you keep going. Um, number four is get more involved with others. So get out there, guys. Talk to people. Experience life. Do new things. If you feel like you've been stuck in a rut, you're sitting at home all the time, I, I'm sure in every city that we all live in, there are calendars of things. Like I get on macaronikid.com with my kids and there's 10 million things to do for kids. Um, same thing, get on Facebook and see what's going on in your area. Get out and meet people, enjoy yourself. Um, number five is be present, be mindful daily. So being present means being present in our kid's life, being present in our spouse's life, being present, um, in, in your job, being aware of what's happening with your challengers, be mindful of them and really show intention, show that you care. Um, number six, uh, is say thank you. Thank, thank your challengers. Thank your family. Thank your kids. Just tell them how great they are. Sometimes when we're feeling in a funk, it is the best thing is to give thanks to others and it makes us feel better in return when we see their reactions. Uh, number seven is quit comparing yourself. Look to others for inspiration, but do not compare. And that's why actually I've unfollowed a lot of elite coaches because I started to compare. I've only kept a select maybe one or two for inspiration and I have to check myself 
Do not compare, do not compare, do not compare. So guys, those are my tips today for getting over expectation hangover. Have an amazing day.